Hi folks, this is my update number 7 for my business is business entry in the Kelly's Heroes group build. As you can see, I've done a little bit of carpentry. Have a look at the first floor of the building. On the inside, the uh, wooden boards have been, have been laid. And on the ground floor, I've done the same. And here you can see also that I've done the the window frames on the door frames upstairs and downstairs it's been a lot of work I'm not gonna say tedious work because I have uh, fun doing it but it's been long hours of uh, laying pieces of wood so I like to to thank Liam Glone who who gave me the advice to, to do this he, uh, he advised me to to use real wood and to use specifically veneer I didn't use veneer in the end, but he asked me to use veneer to cut it the way I liked it and then apply a, a stain coat and make it look like real wood because it's it's real wood. So uh, I, I didn't use veneer uh, because I thought that in cutting it I, would, I wouldn't get exact uh, measures. So instead of using that I use these uh, brochette sticks and I just cut them uh, like this and then I I measured four centimeters and then you can see it four centimeters I cut it again I filed the sides a little bit more of course and in the end I had a pre-cut so this is already pre-done pre-cut floorboard and it was easier than using veneer I did use veneer as I said as Ian Gloom um, advised me to do as well as Zampi I used them here with uh, how do you call this the, the, the base the baseboard baseboard and also on the frame of this door here can you see it can you see it there okay and I think that uh, the, the result I'm happy with the result I think that it, it, it looks looks good my intention was to do also the windows and the doors for this phase of the project but Mm, I change ideas because um, next thing I'm going to do is mm, paint it so the doors and the windows will be a little bit on the way so it will be one of the last things to add I will make them probably with, with veneer with two layers and two layers of veneer um, glued together well I don't know how I do it we'll see and uh, they will be added at the end of the, the process I will paint it first at the lettering here, uh, I think it's a credit. A credit. I don't know what. I don't remember. I have to look at the at the pictures. I have to add also the uh, the sandbags here, and then I will apply uh, a layer of um, primer and make a very basic painting. Then I will destroy the balcony. In this way, I will know which part belongs to. I don't know. Uh, that I will have a clear idea of where the parts go okay and afterwards I will go with the details I will also paint this part inside I will cover this to protect it I'll leave it the way it is and uh, then I will add also some kind of compartments made of wood it will be like uh, office boxes and that's going to be also a lot of carpentry wood carpentry work sorry so yeah that's it basically um, what I applied here on, on the floor was this um, this coat just one layer of uh, I think it's oak yeah it has a yeah it has a st meaning a stain on ink yeah so otherwise this would be too, too whitish and now it has a, a beautiful wood tone I also filed the the wood a little bit because I mean the tear and wear. 
I file it here on there. I don't know if you can appreciate the details, otherwise it will be so monotonous. All right, and I also had a lot of work filing, filing the the walls, the walls here. So I had to not reconstruct but uh, sculpt and remake these window frames, and also this part of the facade. I had a lot of uh, filing work with it. And even if this part looks a little bit uh, difficult and hellish, it was as difficult as the frame part. So maybe I spent one week and a half with this, but I also spent a week with just what looked like simple wooden frames to feed them at the, the white clay afterwards file it, make it look more or less good, it's, it's meant a lot of, lot of work. But I've done it with um, pleasure, because I, I, I don't know, it's, 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 it's cool to see how things uh, grow and, and fit together. And I'm having a really great time doing this, this project, this diagram. Okay. So, in the next phase, as I told you, I'm going to, to paint it, add more things, and maybe one day <laughs> I will finish it. Okay, so, hope you like it, and um, you will see now the, the slideshow of the, of the process, and I hope to see you soon on update number 8. It won't be the end of it, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, there is still a lot of work. Okay, so... See you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.